Hello everybody! Welcome back to Mrs. E's Chickadees. I'm happy to see you today. Today is Wednesday, May 13th, and we're gonna have a lot of fun together today. But first, let's start to our day together with the pledge. If you're a big kid and you know it, stand up tall. If you're a big kid and you know it, stand up tall. If you're a big kid and you know it and you really wanna show it. If you're a big kid and you know it, stand up tall. Nice job. Hand on heart. Here we go. Ready? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you so much, Brenny's really nice job today. Have a CD seat. As I said, welcome back. I'm happy to see you today. How are you doing today? How are you doing today? Are you doing pretty good? Today we're going to talk a little bit about how we feel and we're going to read a book today about how we feel because you know it's okay to feel all different ways it is okay but before we do that let's talk about our letter of the week v put up your sign for v five mm, sounds ready mm, 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 for mm, mm, violin let's pretend we're playing violin do, 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 do. Really nice job. Okay, friendies. So I told you that today we're gonna read a little book, a book about how we feel. Here is my book. Oh, guess what the title is? This is kind of funny. You're a crab. A moody day book. Sometimes I feel crabby. That means I'm not in a very good mood. Do you ever feel crabby? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's okay. Let's see what our little crab, oh, he looks like he's not in a very good mood. This book was written by Jenny Whitehead. She's the author and maybe she's the illustrator too. Let's say thank you. Thank you, Jenny, for this book. I think this is gonna be funny. You're a crab, a moody day book. Whee! Some days you can be a friendly dolphin with a squeaky laugh. Squeak, 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 squeak. Some days you can be a funny clownfish that flips and does somersaults. Some days you can be a silly jellyfish that does a wiggly jiggly dance. They look pretty happy, huh? Mm -hmm. And some days you can be a crab. Friendies, look at his face. Do you think he's thumbs up in a good mood? Thumbs down, not in a good mood. Mm, you're right, he's not in a good mood. When you feel mad, like an eel that zaps at whatever it sees. Hmm. Sometimes do you feel mad? I get mad sometimes too. Yeah. Sometimes when things don't go our way, or our brother or sister won't share a toy with us, or maybe we have to go to bed early. Those are things that can make us feel mad inside. Or mean. Like a shark that wants to chomp something squishy. Look at... He's saying, dog, starfish, like, get out of the way. He's going to eat you. Or frustrated, like a turtle that snaps at his lunch and misses. You ever feel frustrated? Like you're trying to do something? Maybe your schoolwork? Maybe you're trying to get onto a Google Meet and that's not working. Or you're trying to print something. Or maybe it's just because you don't really want to be doing any work today but you have to do work, that's being frustrated. I feel that sometimes too, and that's okay. Then you are a crab, a hard shelled sand in your claws, crabby crab. Don't worry, sometimes I can be a crabby crab too. But not today. Today, I'm a frog that goes kissy, kissy, kissy. Oh, he's in a good mood. I'm a minnow that wants to tickle your toes. Oh, what's that? Do you know what kind of fish that is? Did you say a puffer fish? Good one. I'm a puffer fish that will hold its breath and make silly faces at you. Let's do it. I let my breath out. <laughs> yes, today I'm in a good mood. But when you're not, are you in a good mood today? I hope so, but it's okay if you're not. But if you're not, and you want everyone to leave you alone, 
go ahead and be a stinky anchovy for a while. That's a stinky fish. Look at, they're saying, P-U. Everybody do it. Woo! P-U. Do you ever want to be alone sometimes? Yeah, me too. Did you know that it's okay to take time by yourself? It's actually good. You could go into your room and you could turn the lights off and you could read a book maybe. Well, you'd need the lights on for that. But you could turn your lights off and you could put some music on. Or you could leave the light on and maybe read a book or do some deep breaths. That always makes me feel good. I'm gonna show you some deep breaths in a few minutes. Stinky anchovy, P-E-U. Or a mopey manatee, look at him. Is he mad or sad? Mm, he's sad, mopey means mm, feeling sad. Or a squid with a long face. Look at this says, you're invited to squid's pity party. No gifts, no cake, no laughing aloud. Pity is when you feel sorry for yourself. Mm. And when you're hungry, tired, and irritable and feel like blowing your top, be a whale. You can eat, yawn, and burp with one big gulp. Burp! Oh. oh, say excuse me, Mrs. Z. Then, I bet you feel better. Do you ever get cranky when you're hungry? But if you don't, how about I'll be a sea lion and you be a seahorse and we can play ball. Ooh, that sounds nice. Would you like to tap, tap, toss with your tail while I bump, bump that with my nose? Ooh, that looks fun. Or can I be a sawfish and you can be a hammerhead shark and we can build something fun? Look at that. What are they building? A sand castle. Nice job. Would you like to hammer, hammer, hammer while I saw, saw, saw? Oh, I bet they're making each other feel better. Or I could be an octopus and you could be a sponge. And then I would have eight arms to hug you and squeeze you and hug you and squeeze you and hug you and squeeze you and hug you and squeeze you. <sighs> Do your parents hug you and squeeze you? That makes me feel better sometimes when I feel sad. Sometimes I ask for a hug or a squeeze. Could you ask for a hug or a kiss from somebody in your family? Sure. They'd be happy to do that and it'll make you feel better inside when you're a Krabby Krab. Maybe I'll go ahead and do that now anyway. But on really tough days, when you're not in the mood to play at all, you can be a hermit crab and I can be a hermit crab. Oh, look it. They're all by themselves, but they're still together. And we can sit in our shells side by side in the sand until you feel better. You can take as long as you need, because I will be right here. By then, I'm sure your mood will change, because moods do that. So they were Krabby Crab, right? And they sat in their shell. They took some time by themselves. And now look, they're happy, because that's what happens, Friendy. Sometimes our moods change. And soon enough, you will be my happy, funny, silly crab. Again, let's do a regular crab. I love that book, Friendies, because sometimes I'm a crabby crab too. All right, so we've been talking about the season of spring and gardening, and I have this little song here. It's a counting song, so I need your help. And it's got some colors in it. Do you see my colors? I bet you you already know them. This is called Five Little Flowers. <gasps> Did you hear my V sound? Five little flowers. Yes, here we go. Are you ready? I'm gonna need your help. You know what? Count me down, because I gotta do something real quick. I gotta spread out my flowers. Count me down. Five. Four, three, two, one. Now I'm ready. Here we go. Ready? Five little flowers growing in a row. The first one said, I'm purple, you know. The second one said, I'm pink as can be. And the third one said, I'm blue like the sea. Do you hear my rhymers? The fourth one said, I'm a very red fellow. The fifth one said, my color is yellow. You got it. Then out came the sun, big and bright. And five little flowers smiled in delight. Can you do a smile? Nice job. We're not crabby anymore, right? We're smiley flowers. Count me down again, friendies. Five, four, Three, two, one. Thank you so much. I hope you liked that flower song. Wasn't that pretty? Okay, so I am 
going to use my foot as a pointer. Isn't that funny? Should we count the toes? Ooh, he's got a little dirt on Let's count the toes on my little foot. One, two, three, four, five. But before we do that, let's do some deep breaths. We were talking in our book about feeling crabby crab. Do you know what that means? Mm, in bad mood. Sometimes I get to, I'm a crabby crab too. Sometimes I'm a crabby crab because I feel sad. Sometimes I'm mad because something doesn't go my way. Mm. Sometimes I'm angry. Sometimes I'm lonely. That means I wish I had someone to talk to. And it's okay if you feel that way too. But when I do my deep breaths, it makes me feel really good inside. So let's get ourselves ready. Crisscross, hands in lap, shoulders back. And let's do a regular deep breath, ready? Do a bunny breath and if you feel sad you can do a bunny breath breathe in three times quick and then one big out ready <sighs> let's do a piggy breath big breath in and then snorts ready <sighs> nice job how about a froggy we're gonna say ribbit ready ribbit 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 so if you feel sad like a crabby crab, try the breaths. It'll make you feel good inside. Let's go to our circle time center Fridays. Here we go. Let's see how many days we've had in our new month of mm -mm, May. Today is May, mm, what's a one and a three again? Do you know? 13, you're right. And we're in the month of, or excuse me, we're in the year of 2020. Can we count up to 13? Easy, count up to 31 before. Here we go, Fridays. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. Nice job. Put your pattern finding goggles on. Open them up. Boop. Do you know what kind of pattern I did today? Let's see. You say red, orange, green. Red, orange. What's tomorrow going to be? Did you say green? Smarty. Let's see if you know what kind of pattern it is. Ready? A. B, C, nice job. A, B, tomorrow will be C. What's the weather like where you are today? I'm not gonna do my spinning chart today. How's it, how's it where you are? The sun's trying to come out here. It's a little bit, it's a little cloudy to, here at my house, but it's not raining anymore. Just a little cloudy. What's it like where you are? Nice, okay. Let's see what day of the week it is today. Is it Sunday? That's family time, every time. Is it mm, mm, Monday? No. Is it Tuesday or tea day? That was yesterday. Is it wha, wha, Wednesday? It's Wednesday. It's the middle of the week and I'm happy you're here today, friendies. Get up your sign again. Five V sounds. Ready? Mm, 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 mm. Let's do our rhymes. Ready? Hen, pen. Hen, pen. Mm. What's another word that rhymes with hen and pen? How about men? Hen, pen, men. That's a good one. Okay, friendies, I have some things for you to do today. So what I'd like you to do today is, since we're talking a little bit, oh, I dropped all my, here we go. Since we're talking about how we feel today, friendies, let's draw a picture and write some words about how we feel. I drew some pictures and I wrote some words and maybe you can do the same. How do you think this little person's feeling? What do you think? Did you say happy? You're right. This little person's happy. And since I'm happy today, I picked a happy face. I did it on two sides. And you know what I decided to do? I decided to also practice my letters. And I wrote the word happy. Let's count the letters in the word happy. One, two, three, four, five. And let's say these letters. You say with me. Ready? H A P. P, Y. So grown-ups, have them draw a picture about how they feel. Have them write the word, count the letters, talk about other words that start with these letters, okay? And then you can use them when they're feeling down. Maybe you can pull these out and say, how do you feel today, right? Hmm, how do you think this guy feels? There's a clue. You're right, he's feeling sad today. Is it okay to feel sad? Yeah, I'm sad that I don't get to go to my school anymore. And I don't get to see my students and that makes me feel sad. 
and that's okay. And you know what I did? I wrote the word sad. This is a little teeny tiny word. Let's count the letters in this one. One, two, three. That's a tiny word. S-A-D. Okay? So grown-ups, have them practice writing scared, angry, lonely. This is a great way for you as grown-ups to talk to them about how they feel in this pandemic. Okay, pick me up for the grown-ups. The opposite of talking isn't listening. The opposite of talking is waiting. Always listen, grown-ups. Positive reinforcements, my friends. Here we go. I am brave, you say. I am kind. I am smart. I am strong. Thank you so much. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.